Day one at the Big 12 Baseball Championships is in the books here in Oklahoma City. Four teams came out victorious, and four did not, but each have another swing at it on Thursday. Here are the top plays from day one at the ballpark. First game, West Virginia's leadoff pitcher, Michael Grove, didn't make it past the first inning due to a knee injury. Then enter Ross Vance. The veteran pitcher allowed one hit in 8.2 innings and seven strikeouts. Oklahoma didn't have an answer for him, and here's something else. In the bottom of the fourth, West Virginia's Kyle Davis thinks base is loaded, sack fly, but whoops, that ball is out of here. West Virginia takes down Oklahoma 6-0. In game two, Kansas State gave the regular season champs a run for their money. Up 3-0 in the first inning, but uh-oh, Wildcats head coach Brad Hill says there's a reason those guys are conference champs. Tech goes up to close out the game. Here's how game three went down. TCU and Baylor tied in the second inning, and then the rest is history. The Horned Frogs were up 10-5 in the sixth, and just when you thought it couldn't get any better for the guys in purple, back-to-back -back homers from Evan Skaug and freshman of the year, Luke and Baker. TCU takes the third one, 12-5. For the final game, OSU goes into the fifth inning down 4-0, but hey, Cowboys, let's load the bases a few times, make it 4-3, and then how about a grand slam? To left field. This one is deep toward the bullpen and gone. The grand slam for Connor Costello. That's eight. Yes, eight runs in the sixth inning. Cowboys take the fourth game. Roger that, 10-4. Now a quick look at Thursday's matchups. Oklahoma versus Kansas State at 9 a.m. Baylor versus Texas at 12.30. West Virginia, Texas Tech, 4 p.m. And then TCU versus Oklahoma State closes the day in game eight at 7.30 p.m. We'll be here bright and early on Thursday morning, so keep it locked at Big12Sports.com. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Christine Williamson.